Okay, Virgo, what it do? I am your dope astrologer and tarot reader. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. This reading is for the Virgo Collective, okay? So this is a general reading. So take what applies and let the rest fly. Um, let's get into your astrology for just a little bit, right? So today we had the solar eclipse in Libra. It's also a new moon in Libra. So with this energy, we are talking about how we relate to others. It's changing how we relate to ourselves. It's changing. Our relationships could be changing. We could be, you know, getting into a higher level of commitment. We could be starting new relationships, ending new relationships. Solar eclipse energy happens where there will be a series of events that will lead to some type of faded event that is, you know, meant to happen in your life, that is meant to propel you forward, that is meant to put you on the right path, get you, you know, back on track as far as your purpose. I did a video on solar eclipse energy that I posted the other day. Be sure you check that out. But as it relates to you, Virgo, this energy is in your second house of your your, your money. Um, money, people, places, and things that you care about. The second house deals with Venus things. So, you know, love, money, wealth, how you show people you love them. So with this new moon and solar eclipse in your second house, the way you show people that you care could be changing. Your outlook on love in general could be changing. Um, you know, people that are in your circle that you, you know, you love on, you, you care about these people, that could be changing as well. The amount of money that you make could be changing. Um, so let's just get into your tarot. There could also, for some of you, be some kind of court issue that could be significant as well. Or this is something that is happening around you that could affect you some kind of way. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Speaking of Virgo, Jada Pinkett Smith, she is really showing people what like that uh, low vibrational Virgo energy is, is like. She just don't care about her husband's feelings at all. Um, but that's another story. What you don't see coming is Eight of Pentacles. Um, the chance to work on something, the chance to, you know, go back to the drawing board, um, maybe start over. This is like perfecting energy. Um, you could also in the near future be hard at work on something. You know, it could be your job. You know, maybe you're just working more hours to get more money, like I said. Or you'll have an opportunity maybe to, to like take on some type of project. That could bring in more op more money, more opportunity. Let's see. I'm gonna stop right there. You're getting all the disappointment, which is good. We got the strength card, king of cups in reverse, the knight of wands in reverse. I feel like you're having the strength to walk away from your own toxic behavior. Speaking of Jada Pinkett Smith. Um, <laughs> so this could be you walking away from your own toxic behavior or you are walking away from someone that um, has toxic behavior. This could be someone who, 
they're not the most loving person like they don't show their emotions they don't show how they feel about you they really don't this this relationship <clears throat> feels boring leo is here sagittarius is here pisces cancer scorpio is here some of you either you or your person you went through a breakup you went through a divorce and it really caused um an issue with your money your stability some kind of way and so now that you are free from that you're holding on to whatever you get you don't want to share with people you may not even want to let people in some of you are more concerned about success at work success in your finances than you are about getting into a relationship some of you are just really over love because you feel that you've been lied to you've been manipulated some kind of way and you are just done with that and i feel like that's why a lot of people well a lot of you could be just walking away from this person that you've been with that's just not they're just a waste of your time or there could be your own flaws that you're seeing that could be getting in the way of you finding a connection that is healthy i feel like i'm talking to some virgos out there where you just haven't had a whole lot of healthy connections or you had connections that were not based on feelings it was it could have just been based on you know something physical or someone's amount of money or you know what material possessions they had or what they could do for you i feel like you're walking away from that i wouldn't be surprised if the four of swords comes out because that lets me know that a lot of you are really taking your healing seriously if you are cross watching for a Virgo this person is getting the strength to walk away from their own toxic behavior they're not putting any more energy into that this person has been growing and learning and examining their own actions so let's go deeper what's the strength card about love Virgo you could be dealing with someone where they haven't really had um, healthy examples of what love is maybe you haven't and so you're finding the strength to find love or to accept love that is being given to you you could also be dealing with someone and there's like an age difference between the two of you. Um, there could also be an apology that is coming in with this page of cups. Either you're giving an apology or someone wants to apologize to you. What's this king of cups? In reverse. King of Cups in reverse being clarified by the Four of Cups and the Ace of Wands. New energy is being brought to you because, like I said, you're over your past or your past actions or, you know, past situations that were not very healthy. Um, there could be someone new coming in now because you are at a point where, like I said, you're ready for something real like you you want to experience love healthy love with someone or you are just willing to offer someone your love because maybe in the past the only thing that you were offering this person or people was sex or you know just spending money on them or you know just trying to impress people with whatever it is that you have as far as material things are concerned what's this knight of wands in 
reverse. Yeah, you don't want to go towards something, towards, like I said, toxic behavior. You want something new. You're taking a leap of faith. Um, you're definitely doing something you've never done before. I feel that you are allowing yourself to be vulnerable right now, or you will. That Eight of Pentacles that was at the bottom of the deck is really telling me that you are at a, in a space where you, you don't mind working towards something. You don't mind putting in the work in, whereas before, maybe you didn't. Maybe, you know, you didn't reciprocate someone's feelings or, you know, maybe you didn't feel the need to, like, go overboard to show someone how you felt. But I feel like you're taking a leap of faith Three of Swords, Four of Wands in reverse. What is this about? Judgment in reverse, Libra energy. Um, you could be going back on a past decision or this was a past relationship that's really significant here. Um, you could have learned from this past relationship or um, cross watcher your Virgo is learning from the relationship they had with you Libra energy we got Aries we got Sagittarius we got Pisces cancer Scorpio we have um, Leo that's prevalent four of Pentacles Seven of Wands, more Sagittarius energy. You're being extra cautious. Some of you have been blocking your own manifestations by being selfish, um, closing off your heart, coming across as being bitter. This could have like crossed over to your non-romantic relationships as well. Like people don't want to work with you or people don't want to like network with you because there could have been an energy around you that just wasn't positive. So now it's like some of you are learning how to be cautious, but yet open at the same time because you know what things look like now like you've been hurt you've been disappointed so you kind of know what to look out for now and you're learning not to take that out on other people ace of swords in reverse the emperor some of you are an entrepreneur or you are some type of, you have some type of leadership position. And I was just saying like, whatever relationship, romantic issues that you have, it could have spilled over into your job. And so this is giving me the energy of someone, some of you have been difficult or been, or have been labeled difficult to work with, or, you know, just being really closed off. At work, people don't want to work with you. People don't want to collaborate with you. So with the Ace of Swords in reverse being clarified by the Emperor, this is more Aries energy. You, like I said, because of disappointment, because of people lying to you, you are able to not wear your heart on your sleeve, basically. Some of you have seen the consequences of your actions in the past as well. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the devil, seven of pentacles in reverse, clarified by the devil, Capricorn energy. Yeah, 
this is just like I said, you are getting out of this energy of just offering people something physical because you, you're burnt out on it. You want something more. You want something new. Um, you're, you had enough of lust and you want something, um, meaningful. You want something significant. Who's this person that Virgo was thinking about? You feel like um, you cut this person off or you feel that they're not going to be open to hearing from you, to working things out, smoothing things over. You feel like if you reach out to this person, they're going to cuss you out or it's just not going to be a positive experience. How do you feel about this person? Six of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Whoever walked away wants to, like, again, smooth things over, offer some type of closure, offer some type of reciprocation. This person could have also um, triggered you into like going towards peace or this person, this particular relationship, it mentally changed you in some kind of way. How do they feel about Virgo? This is definitely someone from your past. They keep holding on. They keep holding on to you and the memory of you. They could think about your relationship quite frequently. I believe this is Scorpio energy, but this is water energy. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What action do they want to take towards Virgo? They want success. They could also, um, again, this could be an apology, like I said, or they want to reveal something to you. They want to offer you some type of truth, maybe give you their truth. As far as what happened between the two of you, this is Leo and Cancer energy. Um, they definitely feel like there could be success with the two of you. They could also be hoping that you reveal more of yourself. You reveal more of your emotions. You tell them how you really feel. Because again, I feel like I'm talking to some Virgos out there who are like really closed off. You're Up until this point, you haven't really been open as far as love. What's the outcome between these two? What's the outcome? Eight of Pentacles, you want to work on it, or it's like you, you're willing to revisit something and see if things can work out. What's the obstacle? Someone not really knowing if they're not willing to take action. What's this Two of Wands about? Some of you could be interested in someone else or starting, you know, something new with someone else. This is Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus energy. You definitely want to start a new beginning. Some of you are just not really sure on what direction to take or if this is what you really want to do. These just popped out. Yeah. There could be a positive outcome between the two of you with the Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Three of Wands, but it will have to, it will start off slow. I don't suggest that you just 
pick up where things left off. I feel like for a lot of you, that's not even possible. Some things need to be talked out, hashed out. Um, but there's definitely energy here of both of you reconsidering something. You look at this person like they could, you could grow together. Um, and there could be some type of unexpected success with this. Like, I feel like, Virgo, if you were to reach out to this person, I don't feel that you would expect things to go as good as it, it, it could. There's a lot of Earth energy here. So, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries is here as well. It could be anyone. But those are the... Um, signs that are here heavily so let's go to your money and finances give me a thumbs up if any of that resonated for you thank you so much for also clicking that subscribe button and notification bell this is a new channel and thank you so much for tuning in and helping me grow my channel thank you so much Virgo, career, money, and finance. Two of Pentacles in reverse, energy you don't see coming. So you're going to have to drop something. You know, for some of you, I feel like you are... Um, you could be working two jobs and it's interfering some kind of way. And so you may feel like you need to quit one of your jobs. Let's see what's going on with your money, career. When I was talking about in the earlier spread how your personal life could be interfering with your work life, meaning that, you know, some of you have been labeled being difficult, not being open to network and collaborate with people. Um, you just, you're just kind of like standoffish at work, maybe. I feel that that is changing. This is confirming it as well. So we have the Empress, the Fool in Reverse, the Star in Reverse, the Page of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Knight of Wands in Reverse, Eight of Cups in Reverse. We have Taurus here. We have Aries, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn. You don't have a lot of hope that your current career or money situation could change. Some of you could be uh, put in a situation where you're working with someone who's, um, they're either younger than you or they don't have as much experience than you, but they have skills and knowledge that could be helpful for you. You're going to be celebrating some type of success and it's because you're revisiting something. This is uh, a Sagittarius could be significant as well. Some of you, so with the Knight of Wands in reverse, this Page of Cups could be teaching you something. Some of you could be turned off, like I said, because of their age. Maybe they haven't been at the company as long as you. They don't have as, as much as experience as you, but they have something valuable to show you or to teach you. And I feel in order for you to move to the next level, you're going to have to allow this person to train you on something. You may need to go to this person for help or assistance with something. 
And because of that, I feel like there's like a celebration as far as like you getting more money, you getting a promotion. Um, this could also be regarding a position that maybe you applied for before and you didn't get it. But because you talked to this person, you were networking with this person, you allowed yourself to, you put aside your ego, like you're getting success. You're very hesitant with this. You could feel like, you know, what's the point? Or I don't have any, I don't feel like this will be beneficial to me. I feel that it will. An Aquarius could be significant as well. I don't know if I already said that. It's like you're having to humble yourself. This is giving more confirmation. Like I said, some of you, like, yeah, you, you're having to get out of your own way. You don't know everything with the Ace of Wands in reverse, so you're having to train. Like I said, you're having to gain some type of knowledge. You're having to learn or study. And it's, it's like a blessing. It could be um, learning a new program, learning a new software, something that's going to be very beneficial. What's this Ten of Pentacles about? You're going to have to put an end to the old way of doing something. Um, and this is either at work or it could be, you know, just you personally. You have to put aside an old way to do something. In order for us humans to elevate, we have to get out of our own way. We can't keep doing the same thing over and over again. I feel like I'm talking to myself. But it's true. The cards are saying, you know, Virgo, once you let down your guard once you you know disconnect from your ego i just realized my mic wasn't in my bad hold on please don't cuss me out please don't cuss me out hope y'all could hear me but um yeah you got to get out of your own way you have to get out of your ego there's a celebration coming. You could also be reconnecting with old co-workers some kind of way. Um, for a small percentage of you, you could be going back to an old job, an old company where you will get success as well. What's this Three of Cups about? Once you get out of your head, you'll get success with the Ten of Cups. A lot of you, like I said, you're hesitant. You're not really sure if you should take this leap or not. Some of you feel like this isn't an option, but it is. Eight of Cups in reverse. The King of Wands in reverse wanted to come out. Some of you could have left a position or a job because you just didn't get along with someone and that person has left. Secrets, something hidden, something you don't know. Eight of Cups, yeah, in reverse. It's like you are walking back into a situation where, you know, it's unknown. Something could be hidden from you. Cancer energy, what is this about? listening to your intuition it may seem like the situation that you're walking into will not be successful um i just feel like you have a fear of the unknown with this but success is 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 here virgo if you're willing to get out of your own way i think i said this for the taurus reading as well so let's get some final messages for you I'm so mad my mic was not plugged in. 
I hope you all can hear me. I gotta check the video before I upload it. Someone wants to talk to you. I really feel like it's someone from your previous job or company that wants to talk to you. They may have an offer for you. A fire sign could be significant. So an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. You may need to tap into your creative energy during this time and to expand the way that you think. I really consider you a friend. I feel like I'm talking to a lot of Virgos out there. You feel like you don't have any real friends. And so you, again, you may be pushing people away, but there are people out there that really love you and care about you and want to, you know, they want the best for you. Things are working in the spiritual realm. You haven't been forgotten about Virgo. There are people out there that want you to be successful. Your spirit team wants you to be successful. Do you want to be successful? That's the question. So that is your reading, Virgo. I hope it was helpful. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'll see you on the next one.